Ni hao, and welcome to your first Mandarin lesson on Culture Alley. Hope you're super excited to kickstart your cultural voyage. Today, we will introduce you to Mandarin and discover the different tones in the language. So, let's get started. There are about 13 sublanguages within the Chinese language. The most spoken is Mandarin, with about 850 million speakers, followed by Wu at 90 million, and then Cantonese, also known as Yue, at 70 million speakers worldwide. Mandarin has the largest number of native speakers in the world and is the official language of China and Singapore. Before moving on, let's learn a little bit about pinyin. Pinyin is the official system to transcribe Chinese characters, including Mandarin, into Latin script. It is often used to teach Chinese and spell names in foreign publications. It is also used as an input method to enter Chinese characters into computers. For example, while yu translates to a set of characters appearing on your screen, pinyin translates it to readable English, such as ni. Now, let's move on to learning about the various tones in Mandarin. Let's start by understanding the concept of tones in Mandarin. You will usually encounter symbols on certain characters, which would change the tone of the alphabet as we know it. For example, note the symbols on O, E, and A on your screen. These symbols lead us to pronounce these vowels in a different manner. They would now sound like O, E, A. This happens because each letter in Mandarin has a distinct tone or pitch of voice associated with it. Let's take an example. Ma means mother, but ma means horse. So, if you don't say the word right, you'd end up calling your mother a horse and land into big trouble. Let's take a look at the tonal variations of ma. Ma, 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 meaning mother, hemp, horse, scold, and a question particle respectively. As we saw, each syllable in Mandarin has a distinct tone or pitch of voice associated with it. There are four easy-to-remember marks which will help us in identifying tones. Let's take a look at each of them. We shall learn various tones using ma as an example. So let's begin. The first tone, denoted by a high bar, starts at a high level and remains constant at that level. It is the same as saying ah without a change in voice. Say it as if singing a high note. Ah, uh, great! This will now be referred to as the high level tone, or the first tone. Note that mother translates to ma, and it is pronounced using a high level tone, or the first tone. Let's try and say ma. Once again, it is said with a high-level tone, also known as the first tone. Ma. So remember, the first tone is denoted by a straight line over the vowel, or, as we called it earlier, a high bar. It is a constant high-level tone said as ah. And a good example of this tone is ma. Great! Now that we've learned the first tone, let's move on to the second one. The second tone is denoted by an upward slant from left to right. It starts at the middle of the tone and goes to the top, and is similar to saying, what, in English. This will now be referred to as the mid-rising tone, or the second tone. Note that hemp, which is a variety of fabric, translates to ma, 
and is pronounced using a mid-rising tone, also called the second tone. Let's try and say ma. Once again, it is said with a mid-rising tone or second tone. Ma. So remember, the second tone is denoted by an upward slant from left to right is said with a mid-rising tone and is similar to the A in what? A good example of this tone is ma. Very good. Let's move on to the third tone. The third tone is denoted by a small V over a vowel. It starts at the middle, drops, and picks up again and is therefore known as the falling rising tone. A good way of learning how to say this tone is by pushing the tone and then letting go, like ah. Can you try ah? Great! This tone will now be referred to as the falling rising tone, or the third tone. Note that in Mandarin, horse translates to ma, and it is pronounced using a falling, rising tone, or the third tone. Can you try and say ma? Once again, with a falling, rising tone, also known as the third tone, ma. So remember, the third tone, also known as the falling, rising tone, is denoted by a small v and is said by pushing the tone and then letting it go. A good example of this tone is ma. Wonderful! We've reached the last tone. Let's begin. The fourth tone is denoted by a downward slant from left to right over the vowel and starts at a high level and falls sharp at the bottom. It has a rapidly falling pitch, like while saying a command, kind of like saying stop. This tone will now be referred to as the falling tone, or the fourth tone. Note that scold translates to ma and is pronounced using a falling tone. Can you try and say ma? It is said with a falling tone like ma. Great! So remember, the fourth tone, also called the falling tone, is denoted by a downward slant from left to right over the vowel. It shares intonation with commands such as stop. And a good example of this tone is ma. Good job! We've covered all the tones. Now let's review what we've learned so far. The high tone, or the first tone, is denoted by a high bar over the vowel, and it is said as if you were singing a high note, like ah. Uh. The mid-rising tone, or the second tone, is denoted by an upward slant from left to right. It is pronounced like a question in English, with your pitch rising at the end of the syllable, like in the interrogative, what? The falling rising tone, or the third tone, is denoted by a small v over the vowel. It is pronounced from middle to low to high. For this reason, it may also be described as a dipping pitch. The falling tone, or the fourth tone, is denoted by a downward slant from left to right over the vowel and is pronounced in a rapidly falling pitch that goes from high to low. A good way to remember this tone is that it is pronounced like a command. For example, stop. You will notice that the tones and the symbols used to identify them are symbolic. We can use this to our advantage and read the tone by simply looking at the symbol. Let's take a look at the table below. See that the high level tone is a high bar? Similarly, the mid-rising goes from the middle to the top. The V-shape of the falling rising tone is also indicative of its intonation. 
And finally, the falling tone has a downward slant, indicating the sharp fall that it usually takes. So all you have to do now is look at the symbol to identify the tone. All right, it's quiz time. Let's see if you remember all that we've covered till now. How do we say mother in Mandarin? Will you say ma or ma or ma? The correct answer is ma. Did you get that right? Ma. Great. So remember, mother, which translates to ma, is said with a constant high-level tone, also known as the first tone. How do we say horse in Mandarin? Is it ma or ma or ma? The correct answer is the second one, ma. Did you get that? Ma. Good. So remember, horse translates to ma and is said with a falling, rising tone, also known as the third tone. What tone does ma carry? Does it carry the high-level first tone or the falling fourth tone? Or is it the mid-rising second tone? Ma, meaning hemp, carries the second or the mid-rising tone. Did you get that right? Good job! So remember, the mid-rising tone is the second tone. And in this tone, ma means hemp. What tone does scold, which translates to ma, carry? Will it be the high-level tone or the mid-rising tone or the falling tone? Scold, which translates to ma, carries the falling tone or the fourth tone. Well done if you got that one right. So remember, ma meaning scold, carries the falling tone, also known as the fourth tone. While the tones might seem overwhelming at first, don't worry. You will get the hang of the tones as you go along. They are important as different tones convey different meanings in Mandarin. All right, let's move on. Let's review what we've learned so far. We saw that a way of learning the tones and their symbols is to see that the symbol for the tone is almost identical to the tone itself. So remember, the high level tone is denoted by the high bar. And like its name, the mid-rising tone goes from the middle to the top. The V shape of the falling rising tone is indicative of its intonation. And finally, the falling tone has a downward slant indicating the sharp fall that it usually takes. Very good. Let's move on and take a look at the vocabulary we learned earlier in the lesson. Mother translates to ma and hemp translates to ma. Similarly, horse translates to ma and scold translates to ma. Great! Now comes the best part of our journey. In every lesson, we will give you what we call the culture leaf. These culture leaves are like a window into cultures and traditions. They also give you a taste of the peculiarities, eccentricities, and traditions that are the bearers of that culture. We hope that you soak in all their goodness and enjoy yourself. Happy learning! Today, we will discuss the history of China. China boasts of more than 5,000 years of history beginning with the semi-mythological Shang Dynasty around 1500 BC. It was at this time that the Chinese symbolic writing was developed by priests. The Chinese civilization originated in and along the Yellow River 
which is China's mother river, in the Neolithic era of 12,000 to 10,000 BC. Here, you can see an image of the Yellow River outside of the small town of Shunhua in Qinghai. The Chinese society has progressed through five major stages, primitive society, slave society, feudal society, semi-feudal and semi-colonial society, and finally, socialist society. It has seen the rise and fall of several ruling dynasties in its 4,500-year history. Today, China is a vibrant economy and a leading superpower which is making strides in all fields, from manufacturing to technology to culture, arts, and tourism as well. In the next lesson, we will learn how to say hello in Mandarin. We hope you enjoyed your first lesson. See you at the alley for the next one.